Hi everyone, welcome back to the Speak Up Erica podcast. And in today's episode, I have my guest Charlene. Hello. Yay. <laughs> Hi Charlene. Hi. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Um before we get started into our topic, can you share with us a little bit about yourself? Um yeah, so my name is Charlene. I'm Erica's cousin. <laughs> um I am turning 23. Whoa, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Birthday's coming up. Yeah. Um, I'm just just working, living my best life as, as good as I can for mm-hmm. cor- during corona times, you know? Right, yeah. That's about it, trying to figure out my life and get through it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like, um, yeah, so Charlene's birthday is next week on Monday, and oh my god it's yeah. in three days yeah. how exciting <laughs> yeah and charlene recently just got a new job so woo, woo yay yay being a grown-up is fun yeah <laughs> it's so crazy um so i guess we'll i'll just say what our topic is and our topic is talking about siblings <laughs> <laughs> which is funny because i mean well charlene's brother is my cousin and yeah and vice versa yeah yeah so we know a lot about each other's sibling yeah relationships i guess too yeah. yeah i guess so i think we do know about each other's sibling relationships but at the same time we we don't know what it's like because we haven't like lived yeah it, if that makes sense yeah but yeah i just thought it would be an interesting topic to uh yeah learn that perspective <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, um, yeah, okay. Maybe I'll just ask my first question. Um, so, I guess <laughs> my first question would be, how is your experience like having a brother? <laughs> it's interesting. I feel like you've heard a lot about it Yeah, yeah. at the same time. But, like, it has its up, ups and its downs, I guess. Like, mm-hmm. before... As siblings always are, like, when you're younger, you you fight. Yeah. And, like, especially because he's, like, an older brother, I feel like we had our, our issues. Yeah. It'd be, we wouldn't get along like that. But, like, now we do get along, like, even though I don't see him as often, like, we still, yeah. we're still, like, close. Like, we can, he can call me up and I'll be like, hey, what's up? Yeah. And we can just, like, talk. We can hang out now. Yeah. Before we would not hang out. It's I know. It's kind of weird. And we used to, like, hate each other, yeah. I think. But now, we tolerate each other. We get along. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so Charlene has an older brother, and then I have a younger sister. Um, But He's only a year older than I am, and then you guys have a two-year difference. No, CJ is a year younger than me. Oh, I meant you and Edlin. Oh, yeah, yeah, me and Edlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, But I think it's interesting of, like, how your relationship developed. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe, um, when did you notice that you guys started getting, started getting closer? Um, <laughs> it's kind of... It's funny because I know exactly, yeah. like, I think about this all the time. The exact date. It's not like, the exact uh, date, but, yeah, like, yeah. that oh, time in our life. Yeah. It was when he moved away for college, I feel. Oh. Actually, no. I think it was better when he moved away for college, but mm-hmm. then I think it was, it was, like, its peak. When did he move away? <laughs> When he went to Hamilton. Oh, right. Okay. And he, like, started living with, um... Rose. Yeah, Tita right. Rose. Yeah. So... Right. I totally forgot. Yeah, and then when he came back, I was kind of like, oh, no, he's back. Yeah. And then he was just, like, getting into his, his stuff. Yeah. And I was, yeah. like, oh, annoyed. Yeah. But... His mischief Yep. Stuff. Yeah. Um, but then he got his full-time job. Yeah. And he, he started cleaning himself up. Yeah. He was working, waking up early not bothering me as much because he would have to sleep yeah and he wouldn't get into his mischievous things yeah. <laughs> because he couldn't yeah and he grew he grew up and i was like you know what this is good yeah so yeah. he grew up too and i was just like we can we can get along yeah that's and true. i think that's when it got better huh interesting yeah because i think one of the first well i guess the most recent and one of the first times the four of us all hung out was at the Tory Lanez concert. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's kind of... Um, I don't know. So, I feel like that was a point where it was so different. It was. Like, I... Feel like we were just so old. But it not felt really. so weird. It felt really weird because kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it felt really weird but cool. So I mean, the four of us, uh, we all grew up together as cousins. But for this concert, um, 
usually I would be like so down to drink and be like, yeah, like let's just take an Uber and like get messed up, <laughs> blah blah blah. But I was like, no, I'll be DD. Mm-hmm. And then me and CJ sat in the front seat, and the whole time he. Oh, yeah. He was just like, I just want you guys to be happy. Oh my god! I want yeah. you guys to like follow your dreams. Like he was pretty much saying that kind of stuff, and I was like, Who am I talking to? <laughs> and he's the one that bought us the tickets too. That yeah. was our Christmas present. That was his Christmas gift to us. So I feel like <laughs> it sounds so weird to say, but I feel like his character transformation, <laughs> like that's the best way. Character to- development yeah, is there. His character <laughs> development, right? Like if you're watching us as like a TV show or something. But his character development, like, really changed from, like, the last time I would hang out with him in high school, for example. Yeah. Like, it's so different now. And you could just really see him, like, more mature Mm -hmm. from, I guess, the things that he's experienced. Yeah, I feel like even, like, everyone could see, like, when he started working, he he grew up, he started, like, getting his stuff together. Yeah. I feel like he's very successful if... Like, I guess it depends how you determine success, but mm-hmm. um, in comparison to, like, me or, or Edlin and us, like, yeah. he's pretty successful right yeah, now. Yeah, he's like, definitely, he, like, further yeah. progressed. Yes, yes. In that's his, the, like, career. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the right word. Yeah. <laughs> not su- not more successful, yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, I feel like we're all going to be successful, but For we're not, sure. like, we're, he's getting closer. Yeah. Like, like he's his, definitely moving fast. He's progressed fast, Yeah. Have you ever thought about having a sister or, like, wanting a sister instead of wanting, of like, having a brother? Have you ever had that thought? Interestingly <laughs> enough, no. Wow. I actually have not. Yeah. Because I feel like you and Edlin were always my sisters. Yeah. Like, I didn't really close. need one because you guys already, like, felt like one. I didn't have yeah. to, like, imagine because I kind of had you guys. Yeah. Which is interesting because I, yeah, no, I've never thought hmm. of actually having, like, an actual sister. sister. Yeah. I, I feel like. Uh, all your cousins are also all girls yeah. like the ones here in canada mm-hmm. they're all like females and cj is always the only <laughs> guy cousin yeah yeah so he always felt like not excluded but he just felt i don't know i don't know the right word to describe it not lonely not excluded but he just like wish that there was another guy to be yeah there he was a little him. separated in a different way yeah yeah but yeah. i think interesting yeah. yeah i had enough boy which was my brother he was yeah. close enough and then yeah. i had all the girls that i needed yeah i had a re- like i always had close friends i always mm-hmm. had you and edlin so i never really needed a sister mm-hmm. which is good i mm-hmm. like that yeah. <laughs> how that's did you think about it what um, about you with oh have i ever wanted a brother did you ever yeah did you ever imagine what it would be like i think you have yeah, yeah. well if- i think my whole family kind of did well, yeah so after my mom had my sister she had another um baby but then it was a miscarriage mm-hmm. and um i don't know every time i think about that i i i want to say it's a little bit funny only because of how i told this story to my teacher at the time <laughs> that sounds horrible but so i was like six years old and i told my grade one teacher like oh yeah um my mommy's baby died and and my teacher's like oh my god i'm so (laughs) sorry like that's so sad and i'm like it's okay but it's because i was so young i didn't really understand i guess but looking back at it i'm like that's pretty awful that's so sad yeah it's actually really sad the teacher's probably like what yeah and you're like it's fine yeah because you just didn't understand like what or grasp what actually happened yeah yeah but it is pretty sad oh and i God. i think um every time i think about that my family was hoping that that would be our brother or mm-hmm. like a boy yeah so um i i think it would be cool if i had a baby brother mm-hmm. i feel like we would have raised him well and yeah. stuff right um it'd be interesting to have a brother though how old would he be if i was six and he was one I have no idea. Five year, like a five years younger, five, six five years difference. Six. Yeah. So he'd be like twenty, 20? or nineteen, nineteen twenty. Whoa. Yeah. That would be weird. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> it would be kind of cool. Yeah. Because then you can like he'd be so lucky. Yeah. He'd be like so experienced. I feel and just what like do you no, mean experienced. Like he just like learned so much from you guys before yeah. oh, like true. getting into yeah. like being a teenager right, or like yeah. getting into drinking or yeah. like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Treating like 
I feel like we would raise him well on values. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel I feel like CJ would have a companion yeah. if he was alive. Yeah, yeah they'd be or, best buds. They would. They would be <laughs> mm, CJ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah they would. I feel like I might be strict on him. But I feel like because yeah. he's younger, Guya would have been like good to him. Yeah. Like he would have been like yeah. his mentor, but yeah. like like don't do this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's true. That's interesting. I don't think that's... he'd be a bad influence on, like, a younger cousin. Yeah. Like, yeah. his friends, yeah. Like, that's yeah, his own right. thing. But, like, family and younger cousins, like, he he doesn't do that to me. Yeah. You know? So I don't think he'd do that. Mm-hmm. CJ's kind of family-oriented in, like, a, yeah. a weird way. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. so weird. <laughs> I never really thought about that till but now. But it's true. But it's very true. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, I think, like, something I also thought about was how... Because me and you weren't really close growing mm-hmm. growing up. Like, we were, but then I feel like you and Edlin were close, and then all of a sudden me and you got close. Yeah, when we were younger, definitely me and Edlin, yeah. because I feel like we were, like, the same age, yeah, so we yeah. were just, like, the younger ones, yeah. and yeah. we were super close. Yeah, and I feel like me and CJ hung out, too, because then we had common friends. Like, mm-hmm. me, me and CJ would hang out with Kyle, mm-hmm. and, like... I don't know how, but I got involved in his friends for some reason. I think just everyone, you guys had, like, a lot of mutual friends. Yeah. Because he would always be in Mississauga for, like, basketball and stuff. That's so probably then why. You had all the people in Mississauga, too. Yeah. I think that's how it worked. I, I think so. But I don't know. Like, at one point, me and CJ were, like, close in some way, and you and Edlin were close in some way, and mm-hmm. then... All of a sudden, mean you got close. Yeah. And CJ's in Winnipeg right now, so. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> that's how our dynamic changed. Yeah, that's how our dynamic <laughs> But I, how do you, do you remember how me and you got close? It was. I don't. Uh, I think it was around 2018. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was before that. But I feel like I feel like it's because we like just always traveled together and we were always so down to do everything. Yeah. That we were like, yeah, let's go. And it would always just be us just doing everything cuz we'd be like, yeah, let's go travel here. Yeah, that's let's probably go, right. Let's go go have dinner here or let's yeah. go Like we were just always down for stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and we bonded over that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. We spent just like so much time together that it was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cuz cuz yeah, I could see that cuz I remember in 2018 Charlene and I we traveled like <laughs> we traveled a lot that like we every together. other place we went it yeah. was together we tra- yeah we traveled a lot together and we just got along so well on those trips like nothing was i don't think we ever had a bad time no like i, I lost my license over like and in new york but nothing went i feel like sometimes you travel with people and when sh- happens you just really see them be like lose their mind over mm-hmm. things that like things are like minuscule or whatever yeah and it's not that serious yeah like when things you know? go wrong you can kind of especially when traveling you yeah. can see how people really are yeah and like sometimes it just doesn't work with yes. you but like anytime we're together or like when we travel we're always down for the same thing yes or like when something goes wrong like we handle it well like you got heat what is that called Heat stroke. You got heat stroke in oh New York. Oh my gosh, yeah. And I yacked in the subway. Yeah, and we were oh supposed to go, gosh. like, down to the city, and we were supposed to, like, have dinner, and we were like, okay, like, we can't, we're gonna go back home. Oh, I we, forgot. Yeah, we, we stayed home for, like, a few hours, and then you felt better, we got back yeah. to it, and we still had a good time. It's crazy, because I always yak. Yeah. Like, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Most of the reasons because I'm way too wavy, but that wasn't it though. That wasn't it. For that reason, it was so hot in New York, and I remember Charlene and I were underground in the subway, and mm. I was like, "Yo, Char, it's too hot. Like, I, I don't know. I don't feel too good. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I have to use the washroom." And we went up from the subway, and I think I passed out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we yeah. literally we were just about to go in. We paid, and then you're like, "I don't think I can do it." And I was like, "Okay, like let's go back outside, yeah. get you some air." And you're like, "Yeah, hey, I just like need to sit." I think you like crouched down downstairs for like two minutes, and you're like, "I can't see." Yeah. Like I, I, I like see. I can't right now, and I was like, "Okay, let's go upstairs. Let's get some air." And then we got an Uber. Like we couldn't even do the ten minute walk. We're like, "No, let's take an Uber." Yeah. We'll go back to the Airbnb and like just you passed out, and I was just like. 
That was okay, we're crazy. gonna chill. <laughs> yeah, but, but I think before we got into the Uber, we went into a Rite Aid mm-hmm. and I yacked. Oh, I yacked at the Rite Aid. <laughs> Remember? Like, yeah. I don't know oh my what God, happened, but like, I was like, I gotta throw up, I gotta throw up. Yeah. And you went to the front, I think, to get the key, mm-hmm. and I was just like, huh. I can't. And I let it out in the corner and I was just like waiting for you and I'm like, sure, like I already I, I already did it and we're okay. okay, let's go. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, I forgot about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. Good but yeah, times. so that's how we bonded. <laughs> yeah, but it was still a good trip. It was a great trip. Yeah. <laughs> and we had plenty more. Yeah. And it's still been good. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was good stuff. That's so crazy. I totally forgot about it. I totally that. forgot. Yeah. So that that's a crazy time <laughs> but one um, of many <laughs> one of many i can't wait till we get to travel again though i know yeah because we always have such a good time but um guess my next question be like a little more serious okay but um what was the worst fight that you've ever had with your sibling worst <laughs> i know well, growing up i know that you and um cj fought a lot yeah. but that's common like i feel like a lot of siblings always fight but and they always siblings always have like their own issues with yeah. each other you know they're either super close or they have like their own things that they go through mm-hmm. all the time right yeah so um if you feel comfortable which <laughs> yeah no i feel like we definitely have a lot of fights so i'm just trying to think of like the worst yeah because we've had some really bad ones oh yeah i feel i don't know there's like we always get over it yeah eventually obviously but like there is just i feel like it's always just me so angry yeah and he just doesn't care yeah and i'm like what the heck yeah like, yeah. what do you mean you're not angry too <laughs> <laughs> i feel like it's just me i don't i think it's stuff that's like built up yeah and then i just lose it and then it becomes one big thing and then he we just slowly get over it because i had to live with him yeah (laughs) so it would be like a situation where is it like dumb stuff usually it's not it's not dumb but it's like small things that i just like so sick of Uh... like he'll be he'll be out with his friends and then he'll come home and be loud as and like I live right over the garage, and yeah. they, they hang out in the garage, and I'm like, can right. you please be quiet? It'll go on all night till three in the morning. I'm like, can you please stop bringing your friends over? Because yeah. I'm trying to sleep, and I yeah. have to go to school. I work. I yeah. do this. I do that. Which is reasonable. Yeah, and it'll go on for, like, weeks, and I'm like, can you please just, like, stop being so annoying? Stop, like, just yeah. being so loud. Stop bothering me. Stop doing this. And he won't. And I'm like, how many times do I have to tell you? And yeah. then it just, like, spirals, and I'm like he'll he once did this thing where he made me late for an appointment because he used my car or something oh gosh yeah and then i was like you keep doing this to me like how many times i have to tell you to do this and like just one bad thing will like piss me off and i'm like crying and i'm like why do you have to do this why can't you just be nice like why can't you just like do this like yeah and then that's like a big fight and then i like complain to my mom about it and Mm -hmm. she's like i don't know i tell him all the time he Mm -hmm. just doesn't do it and Mm -hmm. i'm like like fix it fix up bro mm, yeah <laughs> like those are our big fights or like he'll just be like super mean and I'm, i cry yeah those are our big fights but like it's not anything that i i like hold against him yeah yeah it's like just like smaller things that i'm like can you just be good <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then yeah it's yeah. Just always just like smaller things that always build up and then you you get over it yeah <laughs> you pop and then you get over it yeah <laughs> bruh that's how our fights go i guess have you ever gotten into a fight with edlin before no no because i have i think i've had an incident with your brother really when we were really young really yeah i think you would remember it because i don't even know how, what grade i was in but i think i was like grade four or five maybe maybe grade six but there is like one point i don't know why but he was, like, choking me in my bunk bed with my necklace. What the heck? Yeah, and he was choking me, so I pushed him off, and he fell on the drawer. And he, like, fell on his back on the drawer. Do you remember this at all? No. Oh, yeah. So, that happened. <laughs> so, 
so he was like choking me i pushed him off he fell smashed his back on the drawer and then i don't know i think he started crying but i can't remember then i started crying because i felt bad and then i was like oh cj you okay like oh blah, my blah. god and then you and edlin came out of nowhere and then like told you guys the situation and then i was just scared because then i thought he was gonna tell your dad yeah and i was like oh my gosh and what i feel like in filipino culture it's always like no matter what happens, the elders have to have it under control. Yeah. Or the elders have all the responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. annoyed me so much. Because you're always like, if anything goes wrong, it's your fault. Yeah. And <laughs> it's like, why does it have to be my fault? Why can't people just hold hold their own accountability? Yeah. Which I hate in like yeah. that in our culture. And yeah. no matter what, I feel like because we would hang out in our grandparents' place, mm-hmm. and no matter what happened, my nana and dad die, so our grandma and grandpa, they they would always just say like, "Oh, well, why'd you let that happen? You're the oldest one." Blah 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 blah. Really? Yeah. I never really no, noticed you, you, that. Oh, I guess I'm the youngest. You're the youngest. <laughs> yeah. So you would never get that yeah. kind of stuff. But for me, like growing up, I would always get that from my elders saying that I'm the oldest. Like I have to teach them to do this, teach them to be better do this and do that and you're just like what like since when did i have to hold all this yeah like all this responsibility and i'm only one year older you know what i mean like yeah but i think a lot of people can relate with that people in like asian culture yeah yeah or i remember there was this one time we were hanging out at our grand at like nanang date's place and me, you, and Edlin were in the bedroom, and CJ put a knife under the door. Oh my god, I remember yeah. that. <laughs> <Sorry. CJ. laughs> but I don't know why he would put a knife, and he was just waving it under the door. I don't know what his logic or reasoning was. Oh my um, god. And I don't think we were fighting. I think we were just, like, playing around. But for some reason, he did that. And I think Nane was like, ah, you're, you're, you're the oldest one. Why would you let this happen? Blah, blah. That's so dumb. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's kind of like an incident like that that I would be blamed for for doing nothing. But yeah. But only because the reason is I'm the oldest. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I just never noticed that. But I yeah. know, like, what you mean. Like, that yeah. definitely happens. Yeah. I just didn't notice how much they did it, I guess. But yeah. that's... I've definitely seen it. And I yeah. just... Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what happened after Kuya fell off the bed? Um, did you guys just like I think we just get, like brush it off I, you guys I, cried I don't think he cried and I don't I think I was crying in front of like you and Edlin and then I'm like I'm just gonna take a shower and I just <laughs> cried in the shower oh. that's all I re- I just remember because I felt like it was so traumatic for me but yeah. I feel like maybe CJ just brushed it off also I don't know why he was choking me with a necklace so I don't really know what's going on <laughs> yeah, were you like already fighting or like I don't really remember yeah. Weird. Yeah. I just know that I was like super scared of your dad and stuff. I definitely don't remember that. At no, all. interesting. Yeah. I think that was the only time like me and CJ ever like fought. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a fight with like any of you guys though. Like I don't think wow. we've ever had a fight. No. Because why would we? Yeah. And me and Adlin never really had a fight. Like, no, yeah. Why would we? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't interesting. Know. Like we never went out like a long time without talking for a certain reason yeah, yeah yeah wow that's true that's pretty awesome yeah yeah what are what are some serious fights you and Ed- edlin have gone through if uh-huh. you, that you care share, <laughs> <laughs> <You're gonna> share. <laughs> well growing up me and edlin didn't really get along that well really like, yeah so like when we were kids um oh uh, yeah when we were kids like i I was just like a mean person. <laughs> I, was a, I was like a bratty kid. I was a bratty. I, kid. I, I just remember. I'm yeah. like, I get it now. I know what you're talking. I'm about. I'm a bratty kid. Yeah, and um, so, um, Edlin was, is very sensitive, and she would just cry over anything when we were younger. So I would, I would tell her, I'd be like, "Mom loves me more." Blah blah blah, and. She'd be like, no, she doesn't. And my mom would be like, I love you both equally. <laughs> and then um, we called her Puso Mamon, which means, like, your heart is soft. Mm. Um, so, because her heart, like... Yeah, she's very you, sensitive. Yeah, she was very sensitive. So I'd be like, Puso Mamon, ma. <laughs> And she'd be like, I'm not. And she would cry because we would call her Puso Mamon, which is funny because, like, that's... Just means that she is sensitive. Yeah, it just proves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, um, 
we wouldn't really get along when we were, like, really young. But then, I guess when we moved to Milton, um, we got along because we had to share... Well, yeah. we always had to share a room. Um, yeah, when we were younger, we always shared a room with our parents. Mm-hmm. And then when we moved to Milton, we shared a room together for, like, seven years. That's crazy. Really crazy. Um, and we got along the whole time there. But then we moved to Mississauga. I feel like us both transitioning from like Milton to Mississauga we got along as well Mm -hmm. and we finally got our own room so we got our like it was the first time we ever had privacy yeah yeah so that was like that was good and then yeah I think like aside from being really young we did have a big fight that was because of like I don't know how to describe it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Yeah. Then it was a big fight, and we didn't talk for, like, a while. Yeah. But then we got over it, and we, like, we talked it out and stuff. You guys are good now. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. (laughs) Mm. I actually never really realized that you guys didn't get along as much when you were little, but you kind of did, but you kind of didn't at the same time. I think we did when we would play with, like, you and CJ. Yeah. Like... (laughs) <laughs> when we would play with CJ a lot more because CJ would be awake and you'd always want to sleep. <laughs> and we would get so angry because we just wanted to play with you, but you would always be sleeping. Nothing's like, changed. Yeah, I was <laughs> still accurate. <laughs> still left my sleep. Yeah. <laughs> but you're like, aw, wake up. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. So yeah, Shirley, I guess our last point or question is, like, what do you think the, f- like, the future will be like with all of us growing up? Hmm. I That's think, I think we'll all still be pretty close. Maybe we'll be, like, all in different locations, though, because I know you want to move away and, yeah. like, go Vancouver, New York, like, wherever. Yeah. I know I don't want to stay here either. Yeah. Edlin would probably want to go somewhere, too. Who knows where Kuya's going to end up? But I feel like we all... We'll still be really close. Mm-hmm. It's going to be, like, even the way I see me and Kuya right now, like, we're still far away, but, like, we still keep in touch. Mm-hmm. And we can probably still hang out, like, when he gets back, it'd still be all the same. Mm-hmm. It'd be super cool. Yeah. It's, like, um, kind of when you don't hang out with your friend, like, your really close friend in a long time, and you hang out again, and mm-hmm. it's, like, things never changed. Yeah. Yeah. It's I feel like it'd be, be like, like that. that. Yeah. I feel like it'd be kind of cool, though. Yeah. (laughs) I think it'd be sick would be where it would be like, hey, like, I'm in the city, blah, blah. Like, oh, my God, you're in the city. Like, no way. Let's get up. Come over. Like, don't bother getting an Airbnb. Yeah. You know, like, it would just be like that. And be like, oh, my God, like, who are you coming with? How long are you staying? Like, just blending all our, like, separate lives together would be so cool, too. Yeah. But also, at the same time, um, well... I don't actually I don't know because I was gonna talk about us having families and I don't mm. know I feel like I don't I can't see CJ with a family really I, I don't either <laughs> yeah I say. can't see you with a family like not for a while yeah I, I can't see you with a family I I can see Edlin as a mom kind of I don't know why but I don't right now like I can't yeah. I see her be I like having a family, but yeah, like I also, in the future. Yeah, but yeah. I also don't not like anytime yeah. soon for like, some reason. Do you see me having a family? I do. Whoa, I do. Yeah, I could. Oh man, I could like low key see myself being a mom, but mm-hmm. I feel like I would look like a teenage like teenage pregnancy because people think I look like I'm eighteen. <laughs> I'm trying to like picture you as a mom right now it's like too. Matt and like... I having a family and like kids and stuff. Cause, like Matt's so good with kids. Yeah. Yeah. But oh my god, it's too weird. Yeah. I feel like in like our um, generation, we're so used to um, not thinking about having a family, but thinking about having our career, having mm-hmm. our all of our stuff set, like doing yeah. things that for ourselves rather mm-hmm. than like building a family yeah i know? feel like we're all very selfish right now yeah which is there's nothing wrong with that but yeah. like that's why i just don't see the family things yet mm-hmm. but at the same time we're not around kids very often either i mm-hmm. feel like when the four of us are together like none of our family has kids yeah so i feel like it's hard to picture each other with kids i guess yeah right now or anytime soon mm-hmm. but i do I, yeah, I don't see Guido with a family, 
Yeah. You know, you say you see me. I'm I like feel the, like I well, see you the because, Do you think it's because, like, I'm the oldest one? So it's like, oh. Maybe. Yeah. The fuck? Who, who do you think will get married first? I think it would be you. Really? Yeah. yeah. That'd be a big <laughs> wedding. You think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, um. Do you hmm. think you'd have a big wedding or would you elope? <laughs> it's funny because uh matt and i talked about eloping like really? last year for my birthday when we were in new york um, and we told sabria and all of them <laughs> and yes. they're like yes do it <laughs> <laughs> so that's really funny that you said elope but <laughs> i think i would have to have a traditional wedding because of our family yeah yeah and i told you what nan i said to matt and i um so oh, I I think so. I, uh, so, Nanai was putting on her shoes, and Matt and I were sitting in front of her, like, helping her out. Then my mom was beside my Nanai, and um, Nanai was like, oh, so when are you guys getting married? Uh, did, did I not tell you this? No. no? Yeah, Nanai's like, when are you getting married? And my mom was, like, choked. She's like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> and I was just like, uh uh-huh. And Matt, like, that was the first time Matt met Nanai, I think. So Matt was like, ha, ha, ha. Like, he was just there oh laughing. Oh, my God. Yeah, but it, it's because, Nan, like, our Nana is 91 years old. And I feel like, um, like, CJ's not really in, a, like, a serious relationship. Yeah. You're not. Edlin is, and so am I. But maybe it's because I'm older that mm-hmm. my Nana would like to see a wedding, you know, yeah. in her lifetime oh for my one God, of yeah. us. I didn't even think about that. I thought you were just going to say she's really traditional. Oh, <laughs> No, I think she just wants to see a wedding. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Oh, really? That's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true, though. It's true, right? It's true. Oh, so, damn. I feel like I would have to have one. Plus, like, Matt's family's huge. Yeah, so. that would. I feel like that would make it huge. Yeah. Because our f- side of the family here is not big at it's all. It's not, yeah. Our, f- our side of the family. And, yeah, I don't know. So... I don't know if people from the Philippines would come over for the wedding. I don't think that I would don't be a think thing. They can. Yeah. Right. Whoa. So yeah, they can. But yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> I think has anyone in our side of in the Philippines gotten married? Like that my nane that nane has saw. Or seen None of them had have had uh, had have had an actual wedding. wedding. Right. It's more like they have their babies yeah. and they're. I don't know if even they're actually married. Right. Yeah. They just have their kids. They just have babies. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. But also, I, I feel like now that we've all graduated and we're all just, like, working, it's so different now and they don't really care. Do you think they would care if we had a baby and we weren't married? Like, if any one of us in our fam, like... I think they would. Yeah? I think they really would. Whoa! I don't think... At least our side of the family. I don't think my mom would care as much. Yeah, your mom wouldn't. Your mom wouldn't really care. No, but I feel like my dad. Oh my god! Like would if murder you murder me, if you. Oh god! Only because you're his like only daughter. I'm his baby. Yeah. yeah. Like growing up, where was he ever strict with you? Being like the since you're the only girl or anything. Not really. Interesting. He wasn't strict. No. Yeah. But, like, he's definitely, like, he's protective of me. Yeah, for sure. I can see that. But he would still let me do whatever, but he'd be like, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, watch out. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Whoa, that's crazy. That's really crazy. Um, But I don't you think, like, I feel like your mom would be very, like, hey, don't have kids, like, or she'd be very scared. I don't know. So, like, now, um... Like, now that we graduated and stuff, before, when I was with my ex, I feel like he was never allowed in my room. Yeah. And, like, kind of similar, probably, with Edlin and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because I feel like she's definitely said something about, like... But being... now, I feel like Edlin's boyfriend is just, like, always there, or he, like, oh, he's over till, yeah. like, 5, 6 a.m., or, like, even me, like, Matt, yeah. can, Matt stays in my room sometimes. That's true. Like, doesn't sleep over, but, like, stays there. And I'm like, do they want us to have kids? <laughs> like, do they want it? Or like, is it a? Are they allowed in our room now because we're graduated and they They're and we're okay past with? we're past teenage pregnancy? Like, what you know you what think? I mean? But then also, I know my dad's perspective because of um, 
like um our aunt, aunt our tita used to live with us and he would he like his value is m- not sex before what is it like you need to get married before doing all that kind of stuff mm-hmm, really but, but also but she, yeah she was like 30 at that point when she was living with us but also i swear i remember when i got together with my ex and my dad was like trying to mention about like safe sex and really yeah oh my god i can't imagine that <laughs> <laughs> I think he was, but it was, like, awkward, and I was like, what? Okay, bye. Like, I yeah. did Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my god. Because my dad's never, like, a sentimental person. Yeah. And he got sentimental when my ex and I broke up. Cause, really? Oh, I never told you. I feel like... I think I did. I think you did. Not, he didn't get sentimental, but he, we never talk in that way, and that was, like, one of the first times he's talked to me like that yeah where he's like oh like just make sure the next guy you have is good as long as you're happy blah oh, blah yeah, blah I, I think I and i was just like this is weird <laughs> like okay bye yeah. i was like thanks yeah i'll let you guys know <laughs> good night <Okay>. yeah <laughs> we're like still driving it's two a- two in the afternoon <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's so weird yeah oh cool yeah <laughs> well yeah, but Nana and Dada would not be okay with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who I was thinking of mostly. Oh, like our grandparents. Yeah. They would not be okay. Well, I mean, they would have a grandchild before. I mean, I guess. I know, but they. I think it's because the our family in the Philippines has yeah. had been doing that, and they just wanted to see like the traditional way. Yeah. Yeah. Like I guess they would. They wouldn't be okay with it, but obviously they're gonna have to be okay with it. But like mm-hmm. they'd rather it not. Yeah. They would. Yeah. Not, they would like to see yeah. it the traditional uh, way. Our grand, our tata would be so pissed. I think. Oh my he, god. Especially if it's like you or Edlin. Oh my god, we would get beat. He would not be okay with. Yeah. If it was, if it was, I feel like if it was Edlin, he'd be if like. If it was Edlin, <laughs> he would be so mad. He'd be so mad because Edlin is oh, my grand, my tata's favorite. So. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. So funny. Well, yeah. Well, okay. Good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Good thoughts. I like it. <laughs> well, never thought about those. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much, Charlene. Thank you for being part of my podcast and like wanting to be a guest on it. And Thanks sharing. for having me. This was yeah. so fun. This is a lot of fun. Actually. <laughs> um, uh, do you want to leave any like piece of social media or like ways people would want to connect with you at all um yeah i have my instagram yeah. if you ever want to see me or talk to me uh it's at char mm-hmm. that's all i'm really on but oh yeah 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 cool <laughs> thanks charlene thanks for having me <laughs> thanks for listening guys bye bye